it's come in big numbers now. It's it's a little bit difficult for us, but we, we, we are used to these things. We are ready for all the challenges. As long as we are on the pitch, it's 11 versus 11. And uh, whatever information I pass on to the next player, whoever is on the pitch or if I'm on the pitch, it has to be in favor of the club. So, yeah, my, my, my presence also means a lot to the club and I have to, to help them and do whatever I can to try and get the results. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Dennis. <laughs> Clive Chelsea from Uganda. Since winning the Champions League in 2016, uh, Melody Sundowns has only made the semi finals on two occasions. Uh, playing against a younger side that is very hungry in this position for the first time, they have a lot of belief. How much pressure comes with that for a Melody Sundowns side that wants to win their second Champions League title? Um, thank you very much, Clive. Uh, I think it's been a work in progress. The team has changed a lot since we won uh, the Champions League in 2016. But as, as hungry they, as they are, we are more hungrier than, than they are. We believe that uh, coming short last season in the semi-finals against Widad, we believe that uh, we need to dig a little bit deeper this season because we're moving forward as a club. We're looking forward to going all the way to the final, and that's our target. So it's going to be difficult. We know how difficult it is to win the Champions League with a lot of traveling, a lot of uh, games. But we have the squad, and we need to manage that, and also use the experience that we have that we've been using in all these Champions League games to try and get to the final. So we have to keep fighting. Two last questions. How are you, sir? Good, how are you, boss? Diego uh, from Kitenge TV. Uh, we all know tomorrow the clash of titans. Uh, the social medias, uh, football fans, you are their favorites to win the game. Did that give you a, a, a high confidence uh, to challenge young Africans in their homeland? Well, social media doesn't play football. <laughs> of course, everyone gives us a chance to win. But tomorrow it's going to be 11 versus 11. The social media guys will stay on the phones. They will tweet. They will do their Facebook after the game or before the game. But the pitch matters and what the results give us is what's important. So we, at the moment we cross the line to the pitch, we forget about everything. But we also know that we need to make our supporters back, back home happy. We need to kill the game here and make sure that uh, when young Africans come to Pretoria, we have uh, an upper hand. So it's going to be very, very, very difficult. But of course, we have to dominate and try and play beautiful football for the continent. One last question. My name is Shabir Daniel from Tani TV. Good afternoon, Dennis Sonyango. Good afternoon. I would like to know if uh, the technical bench led by Coach Roland approached you and maybe uh, that Brian Mandela, because you are an East Africans, asking maybe about how is to play at the full part Benjamin Kappa Stadium. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, I have to help the team. I'm paid by Sundown, so I do everything possible to make sure that the club wins regardless of where I come from. Even if I was coming from Tanzania, I would snitch on Tanzania so that I win because Sundown pays my bills. But uh, of course, uh, I do whatever I can. I know a few players from Khalida Ucho to Gift Fred and a few players. So for me, it's very, very important to also help the team to win. And that's why the club goes to bring players from all over the continent and of course, South America because we want to compete at the highest level. So maybe one day when we play against the, the South American team, we'll get Marcelo Allende to help us, uh, Gaston Serino. But for me, my job is to try and make sure that the club wins and I do whatever I can to help the team. Thanks, uh, Dennis. And uh, let's have uh, one minute for the photo session.